Easy. Hello guys, my name is Maya and I'm a cast of Loss of Life Change. Kindly subscribe to our channel, share and like our videos, then we move on. See you in the next episode. to wait till he returned from wherever he went to so he returned around 2 a.m. in the he morning. He was probably out with those small girls as usual. I keep on telling you, you don't even listen to me. Which small girls again? I told you. So you trust him that much? Of course. He's my guy. Why wouldn't I give him the chance? And really? look at the time you said he came home. Around 2. What was he doing? He was, well, he was probably with out at the club with some girls or probably in a hotel. There is no way Brown would do that. What makes you think? Why would he even go to another lady in a hotel if he's not interested in me anymore? We both we've both agreed. If he's not interested in me anymore, he tells me, then I go my way, he goes his way. So if Probably he has he likes you but he still asks like he has eyes for other girls, what would you say about that? No. Brown is not like other guys. What makes you think so? You trust this guy so much. Because of what he does, okay. Do you know the kind of things I see him do in town? What? The last time I saw him with Sam. Um, where I see girl in his car. Really? Yes. I didn't want to tell you because I know even if I tell you, you won't believe me. Are you sure that's not his cousin? Yeah. Which of his cousins? You don't know Mami Fua. I know her. It's not Mami Fua. Mami Fua was our classmate. It's not Mami Fua. Well, I don't think so. And there was another time I saw him at his supermarket with a different girl. Are you sure he's not one of his work colleagues? Because sometimes they go. The way I saw them together, they don't look like work colleagues. He's a chef. Maybe one of his, um, you know, the girls who work with him, they went when to the to get touching, touching her, holding her waist and stuff. Really. Holding her waist? Yes. Come on, Brown. They were all loved up in the supermarket. Look, there is no way Brown would do that. Maybe they were just, you know, he maybe you know him and his jokes. He cracked the joke and they were probably laughing or something like that. I'm telling you something, and you are still making excuses for this guy. Well, it's you know it's hard to believe him. We've both known him since we were young. Yes, and I'm yes. telling you this. I know him. You know him. So for me to say this, it means I know what I'm saying. You should just be careful. Well, you know what? I just came to check up on you. I need to rest somewhere, so I was in the neighborhood and wanted to say hi. Sure. I came to meet you sleeping. I guess you are not pregnant for that boy. Oh, come with on. With the way he's <laughs> behaving. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. Okay, you will take my leave. I'm sure. I'll pass by another time. Yeah, I'll think about what you said. Okay, too. take care. Ah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I came home late yesterday. Liz just passed by and I don't know if you overheard our conversations. No, I was in the room <coughs> submitting some documents on the laptop, so what, Re what kind of conversation? Recently okay. she's been acting really strange. For the Who? past two months she's acting really strange and Who? Liz, Lizzie, Elizabeth, my friend. Oh, that's your friend. She's what? acting really strange and saying you are having an affair and this and that and I know there is no way you are going to do that. Affair? Yes. Mm -hmm. The last time she said the last time she saw you in a car with 
a fair girl with big eyes and is it not my for? She said it's not my for, so I'm wondering <laughs> who she is. I I asked her if it was her, and she said it's not her. But let me tell you something. I I think your friend is interested in me. <laughs> no, that was way back when we were young. She had a crush on me when we were young, and she had gotten over it. And no, I don't think that thing is actually happening right now. But I don't understand. I'm telling you the truth. I think she's interested in me. Well, from what you are saying, I just I know she's my friend, but I want us to be sure. What if we set her? To see just in case she's interested. Maybe the crush she had when she was a kid is back and then because of that what if we set her up? I will, I will ask her to come over or me no. If I do that she'll probably think so why don't you call her and ask her to come over tomorrow? <clears throat> Tell her that you came home to meet me angry and we had a fight, you know, that and um, she told me she had seen you with other ladies and see how she react. And 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 uh, I you know, have seen that you, you are not you are not somebody who can help me. Exactly, you exactly. Let's see. see what she do. So just do that. Make up a story and let's see what happens. Okay. Well, if that's what is gonna uh, make you believe that, because uh, there's actually too much. much. Let me let me just okay. go and get some lunch prepared because I'm starving. Are you going to help me out? You'll be the chef for today, you know. <laughs> Lizzie, yeah, good day. How you doing? Yeah, I'm really fine. And you? Okay. Uh, you know what? Um, I would like you to come over. <laughs> yeah, there's a big issue. I and my baby are no more. We just broke up. Yeah, she said. Uh, somebody told her that. Uh, she saw me in a car with a certain lady and what we were doing was beyond imagination and I was trying to calm her down and she didn't listen. What? You said that you let her go. <laughs> yeah, she... She said so from my house. She's gone. Okay, okay, you don't worry. As I said, you just come over. Just now. So I didn't go anywhere. You are crashing on me already. Okay, you are waiting. You come, come. Just put up, put on your best, your best outfit. I'm waiting. Any, any, any outfit. Okay, okay. All right. See you then. Bye bye. <sighs> it is of nowadays. <sighs> <sighs> Yeah, the door is not locked. Come in. Yeah, come in. Hey, Hi. your friend. Oh. Good afternoon. Afternoon, see that you're looking so great. Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. I see. You know what? You say something on the phone. You heard me right. Charlie, and now I'm all uh, I'm all here alone. I'm all alone here, and besides, uh, <coughs> it's been way back that you were crashing on me. Yeah, and I don't get why you chose that friend of mine over me. And you know she likes going around with a lot of guys, so I don't get why you were all over here. <sighs> you know what? Uh, let's take it as I made a mistake, and it was wrong choice that I made that time. But you don't worry. As you are still feeling me, having that passion for me, I need to switch my emotion right now. So 
You so where is she? She's gone. We just broke up and we are no more. So she left. Yeah. That's so what? You are here, Sally. You know what? Yeah. He, he tried to yeah, force himself on you. He tried to rape me. Calm he down. tried to rape you. Yeah. Lizzie, look, enough with your lies. Okay. All this while, I was standing behind this door. I heard your conversations and I saw you making the first attempt. No. So don't you dare try to lie to me. I told you you're my friend. We've been friends for the more than 10 good years. Emily, calm down. See to my kids. If anyone would do this to me, please you. Why would you do this to me? It's not what I think. What he is tried it? to rape me. He I tried, tried to, to rape, rape you. Why didn't you? Why didn't you scream? If he tried, tried to rape you. you, why didn't you scream for help? You see, I'm very disappointed in you. No, get out. Get out of my house. I'm sorry. I said, I'm get sorry. out. Leave this moment before, before I lose my temper. Okay, it's okay. Leave. So, hey, hey. Goodness. Come on, listen, listen, listen. How could, how could she do this to me? I told you this. Now, now you know the kind of friend you are mingling with. God! I told you. I told you. If you wouldn't have listened to me, if you would have broken up with me, like by now, you see what is happening now. What? So you just have to. Hey, 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 hey. There's no time for tears. Come on, babe. Come on. Hey, hey, take it easy. Take it easy. If you want more videos, remember to subscribe, hit the notification button to get more videos. Lots of Live TH, inspiring the next generation through filmmaking. somewhere to stand to check whatever you were checking on your phone. Are you crazy? Keep your stupid story to yourself. Look at him. Like, you're lucky I'm in a good mood. If not, a eh? useless boy. Yeah, Emily. Yes, please come to my office. Yes, I mean right now. All right. Okay.
Yes, yes, I called you. Um, are you done with what I told you to do? Yes, please. All right, good. Um, there is something I need to tell you, and it's very important. And also, let me see, a bad news. Bad news. Yes, a bad news. Um, the company has run into debt. This company we are all working in right now has run into debt, and. For that reason, um, the CEO of this company has sold it to another person. Really? Yes. It's, it's very sad because I know some of the workers depend on this job to survive. And due to what has happened, he has no choice to you know, sell it to another person. So that is what I wanted to tell you. And for that reason, the new CEO, the person who just bought this company, is on his way here. So, um, I'm waiting for, I don't know him, he's now coming. So I'm waiting for him. So I wanted to make sure you are aware of what is going on in this company. Yeah, so if anything pops up right now, it won't be new to you. That's why I'm going to tell you this. It's very sad, it's very sad, though, but you can't do anything about it. So he said he's around. Yeah, one of the I think so, uh, James. So do you have any idea if the new CEO will be maintaining the old workers or he will let us go and bring his own workers? <sighs> For that question, I can't answer right now. I don't know. I don't know what it's in his mind right now. Maybe he will maintain us or sack <laughs> all of us there and yeah, employ new workers. Free he employs us because finding job in this country is very yes. hectic. It's That's very right. Tiring. Okay, yeah, so job. James James called me and he said he's around so I'm, I'm just waiting for him. Okay. So he can be here so we meet him together. Okay, that's fine. Um, I think he's the one calling. Okay. Hello, sir. You are around. Okay, good. Um, please, third floor, ten right there, yes. That, yes, that office there, yes. Yeah. That's my office. Third floor, then ten right, go straight, yes. Yes, please, I'm there, I'm there. Okay, okay. So, please, I'll be waiting for you. Okay. <laughs> he's the one who just called. He said he's coming. Yes, wait and pray. He, yes, yeah. sometimes it's really difficult finding job in this country. Yeah. So let's I think wait for him. I don't know what happened. Just yeah, please come in, come in, sorry. Good afternoon. Please have a seat. Okay. So you are welcome. And how may I help you? Okay, actually, I'm the one who called you. You were the one who called me. <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry. Well, I'm sorry. mean to say he's the new CEO. <laughs> That's what he means. <laughs> you were the one who called us. Yeah, sure. This is funny. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Um, to prove that you are the new CEO, can you call me again? He can't be the new CEO, you know that. Let's, let's. You really want me to call, right? Of course, call. Okay. Mr. Edmund. So you know my name too. <laughs> This is funny. What's I doing? So sorry, sorry, sir. Sorry about that. We're just joking. Yeah, we're just like so you, boss, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome once again. Um, I'm can very I sorry offer you something? Oh, I'm fine. Maybe I'm fine. coffee or juice. I'm fine. Yeah, fine. Sure. Sure. Okay, that's good. So please, you're welcome to Mr. 
pick up, pick up, pick up, young car. <laughs> so you are welcome to um, OB's organization. Yes, and I heard they've sold the company to you. So you are our new boss. <coughs> so let's hear from you too. Okay. Actually, I was uh, I was okay with everything I heard about you guys, the way you guys were, you know, operating this organization. And I had it in mind, you know, to at least maintain you guys. But on my way here, something actually happened. I don't know if Messier can recognize me on what happened over there. So you mean you've already met her? Sure. When I came here, I was just, you know, looking around. Since this company is now mine, I just have to look around. So whilst I was coming, I was, you know, I saw uh, the other building. They sent me pictures of the other building. So I was just checking on the phone. And unfortunately, I just bumped into this lady. The way she dressed me. Are you serious? She dressed me from head to toe. She even dressed me to the point of calling me names. Is that true? No, like I was heading out and he was coming and he was on his phone and he bumped into me then I told him to look for it when he's walking this time. By saying you called him names and insulted him too. So you mean he's lying or what? He's not lying entirely, but he just added up to his story. What is wrong with you? I always advise you about this, your attitude, that be nice to people you see. I'm sorry. I'm don't don't, I'm don't tell me sorry. sorry. You have to apologize to him, not me. I'm, I'm very sorry about what happened. Please forgive me. I'm normally not like this. Um, I'm Mr. Mr. Godfrey, um, I'm really sorry for her attitude. You know, she's, she's sorry, let's say that way. She's, she's sorry. Okay. Just forgive her. Let's come together and see how you are going to, you know, go through this. Oh, this is really hard for me to decide. But all the same, I'm just human. Who am I? Actually, you guys have experience in this organization. Yeah, you're right. So, what I will do is, I'm not going to fire anyone. You're not going to fire no, anyone. But I'm not going to fire anyone. <laughs> <Thank you>. But <laughs> one thing that I will say is, you always have to treat people nice. Because you don't know where your help will come from one day. If I, I would have been a bad person, I would have sat you a long time. But I just can't do it because I know the potentials you have. I know what you can do. I cannot just judge you because of one simple mistake. You understand? Okay. So what I would say is you always have to be nice to people. Okay, sir. And Mr. Edmond, sir, you were also making fun of me, no, sir. thinking <laughs> I can't. Me, no, <laughs> I can't own this organization. Not, not that was. You, you, you also have to be very careful next time. Right, Maybe right. you may meet a boss that is hot-tempered. You would have done anything. Okay, so you guys should keep on doing whatever you are doing. Okay, so um, boss, um, thank you very much. So um, what I will do is I will call all the staff that no one cares. So that I will introduce you to them and okay. and I will let um, my colleague here show you your office. Then we we'll move to what we do next. No problem. Okay. Then Thank I think you. I have to go around first. Yes, yes. So please assist me. Okay. All right. Thank you, boss. No, you're welcome. All right. Gosh. Thank God. Wow. If you want more videos, remember to subscribe, hit the notification button to get more videos. Laws of Life TH, inspiring the next generation through filmmaking.